I look like a crossing guard. I'm gonna take this off until I actually get over there. So here we go, let's get out there. We're gonna get to 400 feet and we're gonna take some pictures. All right, let me turn my girl down, Taylor Swift. So we just got over to the site it's in downtown Orlando, about four and a half miles northwest of Executive in the Class D. So immediately when I got my drone, I went and flew it around a little bit, got a little practice with it, started reaching out to people that I knew in the real estate industry, uh, commercial, residential, didn't really matter. Started reaching out and saying, hey, have you used a drone photographer? Could you use one? Would you give me a shot at going ahead and getting a couple pictures for you and see if I can provide the same kind of quality and service. This is my first one. So I was really excited about this one. The most challenging piece so far has definitely been the fact that it is in the Orlando airspace. It's not one of those pre-approvals through the land system. It's actually something that you need to throw an airspace off into and get further coordination because of where we are. So I didn't need to get up to about 390 feet. So here we go. We're gonna get this thing started, record a little bit for you and share a little more. Right, guys just got back I hit the gym really quick and of course had to change because you can't wear a drone vest to every single meeting anyways I wanted to give you a rundown of what it was like to actually get out there I did get there about nine o'clock I spent another 30 minutes prior talking to the tower which you guys already saw and of course that is outside the norm it's just they've got some unique stuff going on over there right now two different batteries I got about 77 pieces of media total so that includes the couple of videos I took and the pictures and what I ended up passing over was about 30 pictures what I actually earned from my first drone gig with no experience whatsoever was $100 so really if you think about it that was about $100 for 30 minutes. I'm not gonna count the pre-work as much just because that was waking up and making a phone call. A couple of things that I actually learned on this one was one, make sure that you go above and beyond the plane. And I did have to get after it on this, especially for the airspace authorization. It was my first time. I did have to delay from the very first time. I actually just went out a week before, tried to do it at that, that auto approved one you can get at 100 feet, but it wasn't gonna give the realtor the pictures that he wanted. And so I told him, look, I can go ahead and get this submitted again, but I'm gonna need to come back and do this. So it, it was a good opportunity for me to show that I'm credible and know what the hell I'm talking about but also I did have to delay it and that was just because I haven't done this before the other piece is that I did shoot at 9 a.m. so anybody that's watching and is familiar with the big glowing thing in the sky the sun kind of got in the way so I really did wish that I had planned the sun a little better or understanding where this property was in relation to sunrise and the sunset on one side of the property it was slightly overexposed but fortunately I found a couple of spots and a couple of clouds hit that allowed me to get some good pictures that the realtor could use overall it was a great experience I learned a lot for this one not just on the actual mission itself but on getting the photos over to somebody providing the right types of photos based on the actual property and then of course just the authorizations if you're not using kitty hawk or air map or some of those drone apps and actually have to go through drone zone and put through a part 107 waiver i'm going to post a link to drone you they're a really cool website i've been watching a lot of their youtube they've really helped educate further on the drone industry if you guys like the video go ahead and press like if you want to come back for more content like this typically the lifestyle and travel content awesome press subscribe and press the notification bell next door if you've got any questions on what i did or any kind of unique experience that maybe you've run to as well go ahead and leave a comment below. I hope you guys have an excellent weekend. See you later.